Well, it sounds like it should be a win. Something called jackpotting has been hitting banks around the globe, including a local credit union. But it has left them all on the losing end of this. Katrina Weber shows us why it's a crime that most victims never see coming. We've seen the broken remains time and time again, left behind by criminals out to hit an ATM jackpot. Lately, though, some have, barely leaving a trace of their crimes. The ATMs are really being preyed upon, or and we call it an attack, because it is a jackpotting attack. Chief Risk Officer Laura Ward says something called jackpotting recently struck two First Mark Credit Union branches on Fredericksburg Road and in New Braunfels. She saw the crimes captured on camera later. According to the U.S. Secret Service, criminals launch cyber attacks on the money machines using malware, electronics, or both. The machine will just continue to dispense until it's drained. Ward says based on surveillance video, it looks like these crimes happen over the course of several hours. One team driving up to tamper with the machine and then another coming in later to collect the cash. While the payoff is big for criminals, Banks are left holding the bag. It's very organized, and that's one of the things that I think is really critical to understand. Just this week, two people arrested in Houston are suspects in a jackpotting group believed to have ties to Russia. Ward says the crime, which sprang up worldwide in 2010, took hold in Texas last year. First Mark has been working with local, state, and federal authorities since becoming a victim. The member data is safe, but we also want to make sure that our members are safe. For now, the credit union is turning off its ATMs, especially at night, both to protect property and people from harm. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.